Back again with another purchase. What's inside? One stacker on a journey to find silver. International stacker. Hey guys, International Stacker back again. Welcome to my channel. And uh, yes, 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 I did make a, uh, another purchase here. And uh, let's see what it is. And I forget the exact prices over spot, et cetera, on top of my head. So I'll put it uh, in editing. I'll put it up here. And please, before I pull this out, please smash like, leave some comments below. And tell me, what kind of silver and or gold um, are you buying right now? I'm curious. Now, what I've found, guys, besides my crazy deals with, like, that stuff, foreign silver at spot from local coin shops... I've also noted that um, higher premium classic um, bars, which I'll show you in a second here, you can actually get cheaper relatively. So pre beer flu and all that, uh, these types of things had a much higher premium on it. I think I got these for like two dollars over spot, which would have never happened like a couple of years ago. So I'm snapping up as much as I can. So what did I get? I got four. Johnson Matthew one ounce bars. And I think I paid two, wait, two? No. I think, I think I paid 110 with shipping or something. I have to check. But Johnson Matthew is like a old school, super cool company. A Mark, uh, Englehard. Uh, there's a lot of classic uh, companies out there that if you get their stuff, it uh, carries a much higher premium. And sometimes you can find it for lower. So this being what I paid for it over spot, $2 or whatever it is. You know, I already put it up on the screen. Hopefully I remembered it in editing. Um, that is phenomenal. So four more ounces of premium generic silver uh, to the stack. Let me guys know what you think. Was this a great deal? Was this a win? Do you even buy these or do you only buy generic cheap as possible? I'm curious what you all think. This one seems to have a little bit of a toning on back, which is cool. I do like toning. But this one has it on the front. Looks in similar spots. Very interesting. So maybe they're sitting on something. I don't know. Look at these puppies. Look at those serial numbers. 274, 387. Guys, I've been stacking silver and gold since 2016, I believe. You all have been following me around on my journeys. I think I made my channel in 2017. And I've done over a 1,000 videos of content for you all. And I really want to know what's your favorite and what have I not done or what did I used to do um, that you want to see more of. Now, obviously, some of my killer content, if you've never seen it, I literally have videos of buying gold and silver in the gold and silver markets and souks around the world, everywhere from Ireland to Dubai to Saudi Arabia to Egypt to West Africa, Ivory Coast. Um, obviously, because of the uh, beer flu and everything right now, that's harder. But I do plan to do some international traveling again, hopefully soon. Um, but besides that, what would you like to see more of? And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go and watch some of my old videos, guys. And just because they're old doesn't mean they're out of date or not good. Like, I have some killer stuff um, that I think a lot of you don't know about. And actually, this towel I'm on here, this Egyptian cotton towel, I bought literally on a boat on the Nile River with all of you live streaming uh, when some pirates, when some pirates came to take the ship. That video is online, yeah, and it's featured on Chills. So I actually got this. You can see there. There's the Egyptian sign. Uh, a lot of people think that's a cross, but what it's called is Unk, and that means like the key to life or something like that. Or I forget now. Um, but I got that. I got this in Egypt, and that's where I learned about that and many other things. So let me know what kind of content you guys like. But you guys, I have been stacking, uh, picking up my stacking again. And here's an example of an Englehard bar. Very cool, old school Englehard. Look at that logo. So anytime you can get Johnson, Matthew, Englehard, anything like this at good prices, 
um, you want to. Oh, there's another one. Hold up. Oh. Here's another style. And this one is my favorite Englehard bar design. I like it better than that E1. I really like this one. I have a 100 ounce here like this. You can see on my full stack video. And you guys go check out my full stack uh, playlist. A lot of videos on there um, that show my full stack in depth. And I'm sure a lot of you would like to see that uh, video. I'm also curious, how many of you have been affected by this crazy 7.5% inflation? Spoiler alert, it's not stopping there, guys. But how many of you have you been affected? I want to know um, how many of you are stacking right now, how many of you are nervous to stack and you're keeping all, you know your paper currency away for emergency fund. I'm really interested in what all you are doing and uh, where you're at in that regard. And if you missed my last video... Um, or it might be the video after, before this, who knows? I do have a video with this, so make sure to go find it. Is this the largest coin, silver coin out there? What the? Ah! So make sure to go find that video if you want to find out what that thing was. And also, I've been streaming lately. I'm gonna do another stream later, uh, finishing off my foreign silver. Um, I had a bunch of foreign silver I hadn't gone through. Um, so what I do sometimes is I stream, um, and I go through it and you guys help me, you get to learn about it. And look, here's a, a Mark bar. I'd mentioned the company, a Mark, very cool company. Let's see, just to show you the type of stuff that's over there. Look at this Paraguay, Paraguay. This is a I guess like their silver dollar. That's cool. What do we got here? Oh, this is Australia. And from what I understand, these ones are actually pretty rare. This is a 50 cent piece. And they're not common to find. I think those carry a higher premium. I'll have to look into that. Look at this puppy, 1920. That looks to be France. Yeah, half of a franc. 1920, that's crazy. Oh, here's another bar. Oh, another jam bullion. So here's a shiny version. Here's a not so shiny version. Let's get a couple more coins here. Hold up. Uh, let's see. What is this? Oh, Guinea. Canada, man. The, the convoy, I'm afraid to say the name of it right now. I might get this video banned. That is crazy what's going on up there. People standing up for their rights and protesting. It's, it's everyone's right to be able to do that, at least in Canada and the United States. Look at that. Philippines, one peso. That is mega. And this is uh, 10 pesos, Spanish. So anyways, long story short, guys, uh, go find the live stream after the fact. Um, I should my, la my last live stream was half these coins, and this one's the other half. And these are all bags of different countries. So if you want to see something, let me know, too. Let's grab a few more. Oh, here's another bar. Nice. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. See what else we got here. <clears throat> uh, Repub Ostrich. Okay, not Finland. Sweden, Finland. I forget. It's one of those. Nineteen thirty. Look at that. Ostrich. Is that Finland? I forget. Is this. Uh, 50 cents. Wow. 1881, it says. French? Oh, Francis. Francia. That's France. What is this? 1907. That's in great condition. 500... I don't know. We'll figure it out on the stream. 
Look at this, 1913, Reich. Whoa. This one is epic. Anyways, guys, it's Prussian, look. If you want to see more on that, make sure to find that live stream. And hit the notifications on, guys, if you want to catch my live streams. If you never catch them, um, one of the things I was always known for is my live streams. They're a ton of fun. Like, comment, subscribe if you like these videos. Turn on the notifications, and I guess I'll say, catch you on the next one. Whoa! One stacker.